Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how to install Bathrom on your Asus Nexus 7 tablet. First thing you're going to want to do is go to your apps and find Goo Manager. This is how I did it actually. You don't have to do the same way I did. So let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go to the main app. This is what you'll see when you first open the app. What you're going to want to do is go to Browse Compatible. Go to Baked. Then Grouper. Grouper is the Nexus 7. In case you didn't know. Um, then Baked Grouper Black Bean version. This is Build 5. You can see I downloaded the ROM itself. And I went back. And you can also get your Google Apps here if you need to. So... I don't really need to because I've already downloaded mine, but you just go here. Would you like to download the latest? I already have them installed. But as you can see, the 11.14 G apps are the latest. Oh, wait, those are jelly, I mean gingerbread. So, I mean, you got to go down a little bit to find jelly bean right here. 10.11 is the latest, actually. Sorry. That app kind of confused me. So what we're going to want to do is go back. If you have Twerp Recovery installed, you can go to Flash ROMs. And you can select ROMs that you want to install. I have Clockwork Mod, so I'm not going to do this. But you just have to install their recovery by pressing Menu and... I'm not going to go back. Just press Menu and you will see the option to install Open Script Recovery. But I'm going to do to is Reboot into Recovery and hit OK. You're going to want to make sure you backed up all of your apps by the way. So before you start this, back up all of your apps and also make a backup of your ROM. That helps. Let's wait for this to... Did I hit re recovery? don't remember if I hit recovery or not. I did. Alright. So we are going to go to wipe data factory set go to yes so you can see it is wiping the data clockwork mod is just my preference of recovery if you want to use twerp or I don't think there are any other recoveries for this tablet but I don't, I don't like twerp so it's just preference data wipe is complete waiting for it to pop up And you know. Alright, here we go. Now we're going to go to wipe cache partition and we are going to go to yes. Now we are going to go to advanced and we are going to go to wipe Dalvik cache and we are going to select yes. That's only going to take like a second. So we are going to go to install zip, choose zip, and find goo folder. Uh, here we go, goo manager. And we are going to want to install the Baked Grouper Black Bean 5. We're going to hit yes. This should not take too long. Um, I have a friend that recommended me using this. so And I, I needed something different from Codename Sammy because it was started slowing down and had a few issues with it. I mean, it was an overall good, you know, ROM, don't get me wrong, but... So we're going to go back to choose zip. We're going to go to Goo Manager and we are going to install the G apps. Make sure you have the latest G apps, by the way. Make sure you have the Jelly Bean G apps, not the ACS ones or Gingerbread. Because Gingerbread is the first on the list and I don't know why. You'd think they'd put the newest up there, but I guess it's taking longer than the ROM, actually. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So let's go back. And we are going to reboot the system now. I hope that was a good install because the ROM seemed to flash pretty quickly. So we'll know if it boots up, right? And again, since it is when Tuesday, I don't have any school on Friday. My review should be up Thursday, actually. So, look for my review on Thursday. If not Thursday, it'll be Friday. I will also have videos coming on the Nexus, the Galaxy Nexus. I have a really good tan, I guess, because I'm red. Don't even know why, but. 
and you see it says bait don't know if you can see that little design thing right there just kind of Also, that is my Twitter. If you want to follow me, if you need help or anything, or just follow me to see when I'm uploading new videos or what I'm going to make my videos on. And this is my YouTube channel, which you probably know because, well, you're watching this video. Alright, and here we go. So, I can tell this is running Android 4.1.2 because it has a new language selector, which actually looks pretty sweet. You slide up and down. So, let's go to start. Um, I'm going to skip this. I will sign into my Wi-Fi later. Not now. Not now. And what apps estimate your location? Uh, I all right, I guess. I am in Eastern, so Eastern time. It is the 16th, and it is 9:06. I like this keyboard. I will put in all that later. Google services and finished. Let's just go to the regular launcher. And hit OK. Go to settings. Just to make sure this is running. No, this is running 4.1. Huh. I could have sworn with the new notif like the new startup it was running 4.2. Guess not. Let's go back. Let's go back. Oh, okay. So the home screen does rotate, though. Go away. So that is pretty awesome. Notice that the home screen rotates. I still, will, I still think this is based on 4.1.2. You notice that it has to load there a minute. Like when you... I'm not sure why it has to load like that. But let's go back. Oops. Didn't mean to hit that. As you can see, you do have the Cynogen mod, Quick Toggles, and also the AOKP ones. So I'm pretty sure that's part of the Team Baked ROM. Let's go to About Tablet because I forgot to do that. This comes with the kernel that keeps giving me issues. So I'm going to have to change the kernel from the fall, foo, whatever it's called. But let's go back. And I'm going to do my full review where I go through the settings and battery life and stuff like that. So this is just a quick run through. Everything seems kind of reminds me of Codename Android, but I'll be doing my full review. Again, if you want to see that review, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you like this video and you want more how to install videos, make sure to click like. If you don't want to install videos, let me know and I'll just do ROM reviews. But I try to do the install videos to help out people that don't, you know, know under know how to install the videos and stuff like that mainly if you don't know how to install the ROM on a Nexus device you probably shouldn't have rooted your phone but anyways this was my how to install video of baked ROM on the Asus Nexus 7 tablet